Trey Gowdy fires off new warning shot at Mueller. We met with the Justice Department by Aaron Coates for WesternJournal.com. The discovery of anti-Trump text messages exchanged between former members of special counsel Robert Mueller's team had made it difficult for South Carolina Republican Rep Trey Gowdy to defend the Russia probe's integrity. FBI agent Peter Strzok was removed from Mueller's team after it was discovered about the emails and Lisa Page. Okay, we know about that. Gowdy spoke to Fox News host Martha McCollum on Wednesday about Strzok's text messages and the implications they might have on the investigation. We met with the Department of Justice yesterday and they have to go through these texts, said Gowdy who serves on the House Intelligence Committee. Let's take a listen. Right now oh, is the best precious. time to purchase or lease a brand new or certified pre owned Lexus. You can't do it without this. Sorry about that. Well, we met with the Department of Justice yesterday, and they have to go through the text. We're not entitled to, nor do we have any interest in purely personal text. Um, we're very interested in both anti-Trump and or pro-Clinton text, because as you made reference to, he was a very important agent in her investigation, also in the ongoing uh, Russia-related investigation, perhaps. Uh, the decision for Comey to change the wording in his July 5th statement. So he's super important, um, and people have a right to know whether agents are biased uh, one way or another. So the, the department's going to go through the text, and then they're going to make them available to us as soon as they can. Okay. So Justice uh, uh, Department officials will read over the 10,000 texts. Uh, exchange between Strzok and Page, and then we'll give the text to the House Intelligence Committee, Fox News reported. This process could take several weeks due to the fact that the communication took place over the course of several months. These text messages are important because of Strzok's role in the Russia investigation as well as the FBI's past investigation into Hillary Clinton's email server. We are very interested in both anti-Trump and or pro-Clinton text, Gowdy said, because as you made reference to, he, uh, he was very uh, a very important agent in her investigation. Uh, also, in the ongoing Russia-related investigation, perhaps the decision for Comey to change the wording in a statement. The statement Gowdy was referring to is then FBI Director James Comey's description of Clinton's handling of classified information as extremely careless instead of grossly negligent, according to CNN. Strzok suggested the change to Comey. Mm -hmm. So he's blaming Comey for that. <laughs> Gowdy insisted it's important to know if any FBI agents are biased and said the DOJ will make the texts available to us as soon as they can. McCollum also asked uh, Gowdy about his confidence in the Mueller probe. I still think that Mueller can produce a product that we all have confidence in, but things like this make it really difficult. No, you think? Their perception is every bit as important as the reality, and if the perception is uh, you're employing people who are biased, it makes it really difficult for those of us who would like to defend the integrity of former prosecutors, Gowdy responded. In August, the House Intelligence Committee requested information on Strzok's removal, but did not receive a reply until after the Washington Post published the report. And on Friday, the committee threatened to hold the DOJ and FBI in contempt of Congress for holding back information that goes beyond the text messages. By hiding from Congress and from the American people documented political bias by a key FBI head investigator for both the Rush collusion probe and the email investigation, committee chairman Devin Nunez said in a statement, the FBI and DOJ engaged in a willful attempt to thwart Congress constitutional oversight responsibility. And I think Devin Nunez is standing up a lot more than Gowdy, 
But Gowdy is starting to come around because he knows they're going down, you know? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.